Let me tell you something about Machine Head. That was a life-changing record. Uh, I was in junior high school, and that record came out, and I devoured that record. I mean, you know, Richie Blackmore, the band, Smoke on the Water. I mean, it, it's one of the most legendary songs. It's the first song every kid learns how to play on the guitar. Why these guys are not, like, the first guys in the Hall of Fame, I'll never know. Well, I know why, because of the people who run it. They're idiots, you know? I mean, I, I don't, don't get me started with that. That album has stood the test of time. I just worked with uh, Ian Gillen. We did a tour together, uh, in, and Steve Morris is a dear friend, and I worked with uh, Mr. P Mr. Pace, and uh, we did a thing together a few years back, and Roger Glover, we did something last summer. So I'm, the connection, and my, my being a fan, and also having the honor of you know, playing some of these songs with the guys, uh, I don't know, I think they're one of the most important bands in the history of rock and roll, for me. They're, they were they were trailblazers in, in uh, a fusion of rock, classical, and their own infused style, you know? And those, and you know, the way it was so organically recorded and so pl brilliantly played, because everyone, John Lord's organ mixed in, you know, the way he would use the distortion and all this stuff. I mean, even back in the, their first hit, you know, Hush and stuff like that, you know? Um, you're talking about, Unbelievable records that have stood the test of time. One of the great rock and roll bands of all time, for me. There, there's not a, there's no filler on that record. Because back then, an album was a statement. So when you wrote an album, I'm still trying to hang on to this myself. Maybe it's old hat, but you, know, you, you make a record, it's, all the songs are supposed to be good. Now, good is subjective. Everyone has their favorites. I mean, you may have, it's not just music as a way to taking you back. It's, uh, strikes a memory first time because I can remember playing Smoke on the Water. I remember putting the needle on and hearing the opening riff and I, one of the favorite things was the way that the snare drum just came in. And then when the bass came in kicking on those eighth notes, I was like, oh my God. And you know, it's one of the greatest guitar solos ever recorded. I've been through, I've been into all the incarnations. I think they all have some wonderful magic moments. You know, bands come to change, people change, things happen that we're not privy to. And, you know, new blood is new blood. And, I, you know, you, everybody might have their own favorite, you know, but I'm not one of those kind of guys. I, I just, good music is good music, and great music is great music. So I think all the incarnations rock, but I could listen to Deep Purple, Miles Davis, Slipknot, and Aretha Franklin in the same afternoon. I don't understand why that's so weird. You know, I like country music, I like classical music, I like acoustic music a lot. After doing a night like this, you know, if I was going to listen to music, I'd listen to some old jazz or, or something pleasing acoustic guitar music.